Hi, my name is Tom Lombardi. I'm the head of market development for the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. The EEA is uh, the largest industry organization around uh, the uh, development movement of blockchain technology for the enterprise. So what does that mean? Um, the current blockchain provides so many opportunities for us to uh, communicate and transact with people all over the world. Uh, for members of large organizations, those who have enormous reach um, have requirements for enterprise applications. And these are the things that we're trying to solve. So uh, the EEA is developing a specification for um, the requirements of enterprise grade blockchain developments. Uh, we have over 500 members from all over the world who are coming together as a community to build these um, and create these standards for open source software. We're really at a turning point, not just in our organization, but in this ecosystem. Uh, to have these large enterprises be a part of the decentralized application development will have an enormous impact on how we use this technology and the people that it reaches. We're just very excited to uh, be at the, the frontier of this exciting movement. And um, we'd like to share with you today the, uh, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance architectural stack. Uh, that'll be presented by Connor Svensson. He's the ad hoc chair of the Technical Steering Committee and also the founder of Block.io. Thanks, Tom. Hi, my name's Connor Svensson. I'm the founder of a company called BLK.io. BLK.io provides what we call the last mile infrastructure for organizations working with blockchain technology. So these are the tools you require to you know, run these, run Ethereum blockchains and Quorum blockchains in, in production. So we have Web3J, which is the Java library providing integration to blockchain networks. We have the Crux Secure Enclave for Quorum. We have a blockchain explorer and we've got authentication tools as well for plugging in to your existing uh, the, uh, or enterprise directory services. I also chair a number of working groups within the EA, including the TSC ad hoc, which is focused on creating standards for enterprise Ethereum, the Quorum working group, and I co-chair the integration and tools working group. Prior to getting involved in blockchain technology, I've been working in financial technology my entire career at a number of large institutions, but then also moved into the startup space. I'm here today to talk about the Enterprise Ethereum architecture stack. The EA stack was created to give a reference point for all of the different components that exist in the Ethereum ecosystem. Much like the OSI 7 layer reference model, we wanted to create something that was representative of the Ethereum ecosystem as well. I'm going to be talking briefly about what each of the different layers are of the stack. So the stack itself is comprised of five different layers. The idea here was that we were, like I said, representative of what's happening, all of the initiatives that are happening in the public Ethereum ecosystem, which are in green here uh, and yellow, where the yellow components represent the, those that are defined in the Ethereum yellow paper. But then we also have those components, which we believe are more enterprise focused, that as far as we're aware, don't really exist right now in the public Ethereum space, so we feel there'll need to be more of an investment there in creating some of those. And then at the top, we have the application layer, and I'll be talking about each of these layers now. At the very bottom layer, we have the network layer, and so this is defined, used to define the different protocols that will be used for nodes on Ethereum networks to talk to one another. The next layer above is the core blockchain layer. And so this is really the, the different layers that make a blockchain what it is. So at the very base of that, you have the notion of consensus in terms of ensuring all of the participants on the network can reach agreements. And this is different whether you're looking at a public or private uh, blockchain environment. Have the execution layer, which is responsible for the execution of code within the blockchain. The layer above that is the storage or ledger layer, which is where the blockchain itself is stored. 
Moving up, we have the privacy and scaling layer. And so this is where we have those technologies which were focused on providing greater scaling capabilities of the blockchain itself, and then also those technologies that provide privacy. And this privacy can be both on-chain and off-chain as with the actual scaling layers. The layer above this is the tooling layer. And so at the base of the tooling layer, we have the client interfaces, which are the APIs used by uh, to actually talk to the blockchain clients or nodes, and then some of the other technologies such as cross-chain communication and oracles. Then there are the actual integration and deployment tools, which provide those libraries and uh, these sort of plug into the lower level protocol layers, providing suitable business abstractions. The layer above that then is the permissions and credentials layers, which is where you know, your keys for identifying users and signing transactions are on, on the blockchain and then the technologies used as well to, to manage those two and um, you know, integrating permissioning and authentication with uh, the existing enterprise stacks. Then finally, we have the application layer. And so the application layer, at the, the base level, we have these smart contract to, tools, which are focused on the creation of smart contracts and the abstractions that you use to actually create smart contracts and then generate code that can be executed in Ethereum. We also have a layer of infrastructure contracts and standards, which are where initiatives such as ERC-20, the, the standard for creating tokens on Ethereum, and which has had multiple iterations since, reside. And we envisage that over time, a lot more uh, standards will be created uh, that also provide best practices for doing certain types of tasks on Ethereum. And finally, at the very top layer, we have the, the decentralized apps or dApps layer, which is where these applications sitting on top of uh, the blockchain live and then also additional tools for you know, monitoring and understanding what's going on behind the scenes. So that's the EA stack in its entirety. The EA itself is composed of a number of different working groups. A sample of them are shown here and the, the intention of these working groups is to help establish industry best practices for working with blockchains and technology and also feed into future iterations of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance standards. And so over the course of this year, we've just published the stack, but then coming up soon will also be a specification for, um, for our first technical specification coming out of the EA for clients. And then we're going to be working on having a test net for all members. And then there'll be a certification program as well for vendors to be uh, certified as uh, yeah, EEA compliant with their work. For more information, you can go to ntethalliance.org forward slash um, to, forward slash join to join up and also find out more about the EEA.